Good morning. My name is Dennis White with GreensboroSports.com, reporting live from the Greensboro Coliseum. Here this morning, we had an opportunity to catch up with the Page assistant coach, Coach Harris, in his Western Regional Round 4 of the women's playoff. Coach, congratulations on a 26-1 season thus far. Thank you so much. Uh, coach, could you tell us what got you here at this point of being at the Round 4 of the Western Regionals here at the Greensboro Coliseum? What three teams did you play to get you to this point? Um, I think what really got us here was that we've bought into the system of being a team and a family, and the girls work hard. We do have an extremely huge amount of talent on our team, but they work hard and they work together, and they know that in order to make it to our final goal, we have to work together. Um, the three teams we played to get here was Rocky River from Charlotte, um, Dudley, which of course we had played four times at that point, um, so that was always a tough battle, and our conference, of course, is really tough, so I think playing them, of course, prepared us for the next level, and then last game was West Forsyth with the um, two Jones twins, I think it is, and um, so we knew that was a big challenge as well, but our girls have been very focused and determined, and um, I think they have their eyes on what they want, so they're working hard to get it. Yeah, Coach, let's take you back to the victory over West Forsyth, where Jasmine and Jessica Jones, Coach, in the beginning of the game, it looked like they was going to be very dominant, mm -hmm. but it took a brief time out by uh, Coach David Jones and the staff, and you guys, I've seen you personally going over to Chelsea Coleman giving her almost an exercise of a block out. And, Coach, when they executed that, that changed the whole outcome of how it would go for the rest of the night for the Jones sisters. Yes, sir. Um, it was it was basically uh, we were stepping to the wrong side on our boxing out, and um, it was giving them an easy alley to get to the rim and get the rebounds and kicking it out, and then they were getting transition points and things of that nature. And we wanted to kind of eliminate that. So um, I was just telling them to make sure they're putting a the body on them and pushing them back because those girls like to go over the back, and we'll start getting some of those calls. And, um, yes, it definitely kind of changed that when we were getting on the boards a little bit more, and they kind of got off of their rhythm, and we kind of took over from there. And Coach real quickly, I have labeled Paige season as three T's. That is tempo, transition game, and lack of turnovers. Coach, talk about the transition game, and we're going to get with individual. Parrish Key leading that transition game that she is outstanding. Coach, she made some passes the other night, had everybody wooing yes. on. Talk <laughs> about your transition game. Um, transition game for Paige girls basketball is very big. Um, I think that is the major factor in our success. Um, we do have a very quick team. Even our post players get up and down the court really well, so it makes it a lot easier to get those things done when you have a team that's very quick and, and is acknowledgeable and gives those good passes and gets the ball up the court. Um, as far as the, uh, you said the second one was what now? The, yeah, tempo. 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 We try to keep the tempo in our control, and I tell the ladies every game, if you control the board, you control the game. So if we get the rebound and we're able to get the ball to Paris or guard really quickly, we can push the ball up and we can control the tempo. And Coach Turnovers, you have been very deficiency, low deficiency in this area of turnovers. Um, I think with turnovers is we, we definitely try to keep those to a minimum. We try to make sure we're meeting our passes. Coach Jones has done an excellent job with making sure we're doing passing drills and things of that nature to take care of the ball. And we are just on them about making sure you meet it, you're making a good pass, you see the person, you're not throwing to somebody who's just calling your name, you're seeing who you're throwing it to and those things. So they've done a good job with that. And Coach, here at the Greensboro Coliseum, you would be going up against the only team that defeated the Page Pirates this year. Uh, Coach, I'm not for certain which week it was in that you guys lost. I think it was round you guys 11 or 0 12 and 0 when you played uh, Southeast and you lost to the Falcons by a score of lost by four points. And Coach, talk about that real quickly as we get to wrap up. As we talk about turnovers, that was the one game that we had quite a few turnovers and it was um, I think our focus was lacking that game. And since then we've played them two more times and of course we came out victorious on those. Um, and I think we just have to focus in on what page we do as a team and not so much what other teams are doing. I think we have an excellent game plan and we know that we just have to go in focus and execute. Well, Coach, congratulations and uh, wish you all the best. And uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your business schedule. And we wish you the best for as Page Pirates continue this run.
run in the fourth round of the playoff of the North Carolina High School Athletic Association. For GreensboroSports.com, on the behalf of Coach Harris, I'm Dennis White. We'll see you on the next time.